well, there are a couple different ways to keep you out of bed for the morning. And, and, and the ultimate thing is to stimulate the body's activities, the cells, uh, get the ATP flowing. And that can be done through stimulants like coffee. It can be done through physical activity in the morning for those who are inclined. I like personally uh, uh, wake up with a shower, uh, get that water on me. Um, some people are brave enough to do a cold plunge in the morning or a cold shower and that has uh, cell survival benefits as well. You can do your breathing in the, in the shower while you're in there. You can do some stretches. You can do some postural stretches. Um, and, and usually you find your own ritual. You may already know it. You know, it may be a combination of things. Some people don't like to exercise in the morning. I'm one of them. And I'll admit it here, and even though I know it will wake me up, I like my shower, I like my, my nootropics, my coffee, or sometimes I'll do adaptogens, mushroom coffee. And uh, usually within 15, 30 minutes, I'm ready to take on the world. I do notice my optimal time to do something cognitive, brain-oriented, is in the first four to five hours of the day. So if I have uh, some difficult brain-intensive work, I will schedule it in the morning after my morning routine.